Hey, James and uh, Bucks Nation. Uh, Jack Sitchie here, linebacker for Tampa Bay. Um, we're about two weeks into our, uh, our off-season kind of program with, with the new staff and the, the strength staff, and everything's going really well. It's, um, it's a lot of fun. We're kind of getting to know the coaches. They're getting to know us. So we're having meetings and workouts every day, which, which is good. They kind of get to see our personality, and we can kind of learn the defense through different ways, and, and the coaches are doing a really good job kind of installing different components. But there's, there's really good energy around one buck. Um, everyone's really excited, and this new staff has kind of brought a new kind of outlook and, and a new kind of idea on how we, how we want to win, and, and we're really trying to kind of hit the ground running and win right now. Um, next week we'll kind of start off doing more stuff on the field, but these first two weeks have been great, and, and I think everyone on the team is, is really excited about it. Chris Godwin will be a star for the Buccaneers in the 2019 season. I know that it might be a little too early to make a claim like that, but I truly do believe that Godwin will be one of the Buccaneers' best stars come next season. Recently, with both wide receivers Deshaun Jackson and Adam Humphreys leaving the Buccaneers, the door is now open for Godwin to ascend to have a bigger role as the number two wide receiver, as well as moving into the slot in certain situations. When asked about Chris Godwin, Bruce Arians had this to say. I think Chris Godwin is going to be close to a 100 catch guy, especially because I think he can play in the slot, said Arians. He's never coming off the field. So that's why in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the football life of Chris Godwin and talk about his journey, how good he has been since a young age, and how good he can be for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the 2019-2020 season. Chris Godwin would only spend the first three years of his life in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania before moving to Middletown, Delaware to grow in a better environment where he would eventually grow up and attend Middletown High School. This is where the play of Chris Godwin and his insane athleticism began to grow. Making the switch from a youth league quarterback to a wide receiver, Godwin was a star right away and led to having a great four years at Middletown. From windmill dunks to pulling tires farther than all state linemen to being on one knee and still being able to throw a football 50 yards, Godwin's talents were on display play for everyone to see. Another aspect of Chris Godwin that made people sure that he was going to play in the NFL one day was his attitude on life. Loyalty, humility, and humbleness are some of the main characteristics that can define who Chris Godwin is as a person. Chris is good at everything because he has that aggression, but he's not the type of guy who will hit you and stand over you. He'll knock you out and then help you up. During his final game as a senior, Chris gave a tearful, emotional speech to his teammates and apologized to them for not being able to be a better leader and lead Middletown to another state championship, continuing to show the humility, passion, and raw emotion that Godwin has for his teammates, his loved ones, and for the game of football. A three-time All-State selection, the 2012 Gatorade Player of the Year, and a two-time state champion with Middletown, Chris Godwin was coming out of high school as a three-star recruit and had a lot of schools to pick from to continue his football career, but in the end he decided on Penn State University. During his first year at Penn State, Godwin was put on the lower end of the depth chart and wasn't able to do much his freshman season, finishing with only 26 catches, 338 yards, and two touchdowns. After that, however, with the combined efforts of Godwin, Penn State's head coach James Franklin, and Penn State's wide receiver coach Josh Gaddis, Godwin was able to blow up the Big Ten Conference in his sophomore season, finishing with 69 catches, 1,101 receiving yards, and five receiving touchdowns. Finally, Chris's third and final year at Penn State was possibly his greatest as he finished with 59 catches, 982 yards, and 11 touchdowns to go with Penn State's third consecutive bowl game, the final one being against USC in the Rose Bowl. In this game, Godwin would finish the game with nine catches, 187 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. However, it was one of the final plays of the game where we would yet again see Godwin's leadership and passion come through as a pass in the fourth quarter sailed over his head and was intercepted to seal the loss for the Penn State University. The pass was by no means an easily or even possible catchable ball, but Chris was still quick to take responsibility and put the blame on him. We saw him after the game and he was blaming himself. When it got intercepted, he was like, I should have caught that ball. 
I was like, Chris, there was no way you could have caught it. After an overall impressive combine, there were many mock drafts that had Godwin going in the second round of the 2017 NFL Draft, ironically enough, to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Buccaneers ended up selecting Justin Evans in the second round and were still able to land Godwin in the third round of the 2017 NFL Draft. Now, Godwin entered a situation where the Buccaneers had already had two established starting wide receivers on the roster in Adam Humphreys and Mike Evans, and they had also just added big money deep threat wide receiver to Sean Jackson in the offseason as well. This meant that Godwin would be pushed into a fourth wide receiver role on the depth chart and overall still had a very decent rookie year as he finished with 34 catches, 525 receiving yards, and one touchdown starting in only two games. It was in his second year, however, as things really started to take on a larger role with the team due to an injury to receiver Deshaun Jackson and the intention from the Bucks coaching staff to get him more involved in the pass game after a solid rookie year. In year two, Godwin would finish with five games started, 59 catches, 842 receiving yards, and seven touchdowns in what many people have called a breakout year. Now, with Deshaun Jackson being traded to the Philadelphia Eagles and Adam Humphreys leaving the Buccaneers via free agency to join the Tennessee Titans, there are many in the Buccaneers fan base as well as the national fan base who feel that Godwin will have another breakout year much like last season with his increased role on the team now. To some, these numbers are nothing new however. Everywhere Chris Godwin has gone, he has been able to shine. From Middletown to Penn State to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Chris Godwin has been able to show the passion and leadership for the sport of football everywhere he has went. When Godwin has been given the chance, he's been able to show he can be one of the best players in football, and I feel that with his increased role and confidence instilled in him by the Buccaneers organization, I feel that Chris Godwin is going to be one of the better receivers in the NFL and for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hey guys, I just want to thank you again for watching this video and for making it to the end of the video. I know that that's hard to do sometimes, but again, thank you so much for watching this video. I had an awesome time making it. If you have any more suggestions, for types of videos I should do, maybe in this format, maybe for another format, let me know down in the comments section below if you guys want to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, or any other social media platform, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want to donate to the channel in some capacity, both my Patreon and PayPal links are down in the description below of this video if you want to support the channel in a financial way. Again, no obligation to, but it would be greatly appreciated. But I'm going to get going, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave your suggestions for any types of videos down in the comment section below. But until the next video or the next live stream, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, and as always, goodbye for now, guys, and go Bucks.